This video is going to talk about split phase motors. Split phase motor is a single phase induction motor used in applications that operate in the fractional horsepower range. Small condensing units and fans that require up to a third horsepower are often driven by split phase motors. Uh, you can see this one here has a pulley on the end of it, so it's run some kind of belt uh, squirrel cage application, maybe for an exhaust system. Split phase motors are usually typically built using a squirrel cage rotor and are available in either 120 volts or 240 volts. Split phase start winding are disconnected by a centrifugal switch or relay when the motor reaches approximately 75% of its running speed. So a centrifugal switch is an electrical device mounted on the end of a motor shaft that disconnects the start windings from the circuit. So if we look at the wiring diagram for this unit, for this motor, we can see that centrifugal switch right here. It's connected to the start winding. So that will actually drop out after that motor reaches 75% of its running speed. Centrifugal switch consists of weights that are held closed to the motor shaft by the force of a spring. These weights hold a plate against a set of electrical contacts to keep them closed. As the motor shaft approaches its running speed, the weights overcome the spring's force and move away from the shaft due to centrifugal force. This pulls the plate away from the electrical contacts and opens the circuit. So if we look at the uh, data plate on this, you can see this is a quarter horse motor, 115 volt. It's also reversible. Uh, to reverse rotation, switch red and black leads. I did not open that up to see inside of there, but um, you would just switch a wire in there and you can reverse the speeds on this motor. One thing with centrifugal switches, or how to tell if it's a split phase, if you can look inside there, there's a lot of depth in there from the end of the motor to where the windings are inside of there. So if I could just show you an example here, you know, if I stick a screwdriver down in there, which don't do if it's a working motor, you know, we have a lot of depth in there. That's to make room for that centrifugal switch. So if I pick up a motor, there's no start capacitor, run capacitor on it. It's a pretty good sized motor. Um, and I see a lot of distance in there, a lot of room in there. Um, I'm going to assume that's a split phase motor um, and that's where that centrifugal switch is going to sit.